Hey guys, this is a video from A11021085, and today I'm going to show you two cool things that you can do with your desktop icons on Windows Vista. I'm going to show you how to get rid of the shortcut arrow on your desktop icons, and I'm also going to show you how to change your desktop icons themselves. So, as you can see here, I've got two files right here, and they both say Nick. Now, this one is the actual Nick folder that comes on your desktop in Vista, and this is a shortcut to it. Now, as you notice about the shortcut, Shortcut, it doesn't have a shortcut arrow and it also has a custom icon on it, my custom A11 icon. And if we go down here, I have four custom icons. I have another NIC folder with the finder icon, a computer uh, uh, icon with the system preferences, and I've got all of these icons down here. And they're, they're all shortcuts, but they've got different icons and they've got no shortcut arrow. So now I'm going to show you how to change the desktop icons first. So first you're going to need a shortcut to change your icon. So I'm going to go ahead and change the icon of this notepad one here. So you want to go down to your internet browser and you want to go to Google and image search uh, any kind of icon you want. So I'm going to type in notepad icon. Oh, can't spell. All right. Now we're going to just scroll down to find the one we want. Uh, I want this one over here, Silva Aqua Notepad Icon. And make sure that is a PNG format. As you can see here, it says uh, the width of it, and then PNG. It has to be a PNG. It can't be anything else but a PNG. So right-click it and save it to wherever you want to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And then it's saved on my desktop here and now what we want to do is we want to go up to a website to go ahead and convert it so I'm gonna to go to this website right here the link for it will be in the description so I'm gonna go up to my internet browser and uh, I'm gonna paste it in wait a minute yeah I'm just gonna paste it in here and uh, enter and now uh, it's called convert to ico.com now you can enter the address of the PNG or ICO file or you can browse for an image to upload so I'm gonna click the browse icon and uh, sorry about that I'm gonna go ahead to my desktop and find the notepad icon which is right here I click on that and click on the convert icon and then it'll convert it and then when it comes up to this screen click on click here to download It'll come up to uh, a web page with this little icon up here, which is the actual icon. So right-click it and save it as. And I'm going to save it in my desktop again. So it's saved onto my desktop now. And uh, now that it's on my desktop, I've got I can just get rid of this picture right here. So now I want to go ahead and change the Notepad icon. So go up to the shortcut you want to change and right-click it and go to Properties and then click on change icon and then it'll be up like this and you can click OK now I'm gonna go ahead and click on browse and I'm gonna browse onto my desktop for this icon click OK and then apply and then here's our notepad shortcut right here and it's got the special notepad icon note click on it and a notepad comes up so that's how you change the icons of uh, shortcuts but now I'm gonna show you how to change the icons of folders like uh, as you can see up here in the top corner I have two folders one that says my stuff and another that says icon files now these are both normal folders that I created on my desktop but they've got the Mac OS 10 type folder so I'm gonna show you how to change the icon of a folder so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new folder so I got a new folder right here and let's say I wanna change the icon of it so you're gonna need an icon file so I happen to have an icon of a folder here in my icons folder right here so if you don't have it just search for a folder like this and convert it to a folder format which I've already done just go up to that website again so I'm gonna right click on the folder go down to properties and then I'm gonna go to the customize tab and I'm gonna click on change icon and then I'm gonna go to browse and I'm gonna click on my icon files one and I'm gonna click on this uh, folder I'm gonna click OK and apply and then OK and then yeah my folder, my new folder has now got the Mac OS X icon on it. So that's how you change it. 
Now you can get all these files by just going on and browsing for PNG files. And, uh, so that's how you change the icons of your folders and your shortcuts. Now I'm going to show you how to get rid of that annoying shortcut arrow. Like, uh, as you notice, these are all shortcuts, but they don't have arrows. Like, let me go ahead and make a shortcut of something. Like, say I want to make a shortcut through Google Chrome, I right-click it, send a desktop create shortcut, and there's no icon or no folder, no little arrow on the Google Chrome shortcut. Now I'm going to show you how to get rid of that little arrow. So you're going to need to download something called the Vista Shortcut Manager. This is only for Windows Vista. Uh, you can download it from this site up here, which is a direct download link. You click on that, and it'll bring this up. So I'll, I'll double click on that, and I'm going to have to provide administrative support. And then it'll come out to this little window here that'll say, uh, select what you want. Now, it'll have a normal arrow like this, which will be the default. But you can also change it to a lighter arrow, a custom arrow, or do what I did and just click on no arrow. What you do is you select what you want and then click apply, but you're going to have to either restart your computer or log off for it to take effect. But then after that, you won't have any shortcut arrows. So uh, that's how you do that. So uh, that's how you change your shortcut arrows, and that is how you, uh, that's how you change your shortcut icons, and that's how you change, uh, get rid of the shortcut arrow. So uh, that's how to change your icons, and yeah, so uh, I'll put both the links to these in the description. This has been a video from A11021085, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see ya.